no, no, no 95,000 kwacha was seized from me. 95,000 kwacha yes was seized from my tenant who lives in a rented property. As I said, I have uh, properties in various places. If, if, if in my small two-bedroom house in Sorwez, uh, uh, the tenant there, you see his marijuana, will you attribute that marijuana to me? That is absurd. That's number one. Number two, there was not a single question put across to me on corruption. On Monday night, my sister-in-law, not the one that was arrested, my sister-in-law whose house was searched in absentia, was abducted for five hours and kept against her will by the SEC. I put this question to them and see whether that is true or not, because the person who went and secured her freedom is a lawyer. Our lawyer is an officer of the court. He cannot tell lies. When he has come, he will speak to her. My sister in law, Brenda Nakaundi, was abducted and detained for five hours against her will. She is not part of the investigation whatsoever. She was not there when the search was being done. But, unfortunately, that abduction came when she went to open the gate to see what was going on uh, outside the gate. She was abducted by people who we later discovered were SEC officers. They drove her to an unknown location which they called Kawata police station. When our lawyers went to Kawata station, we were told that she was not there. And at 21 hours, she was discovered at, um, at uh, SEC offices because we frantically moved to locate where she was when her phone uh, was, was taken away. Uh, her phones are linked to our phones through uh, 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 Apple iCloud system. We could track where she was going and we sent the lawyer there. But And, and fortunately, the, the SEC officers who took her later answered the phone and said we are taking her to, to the SEC. That abduction is unlawful as well because the fact that my sister in law is my neighbor does not make her an accomplice to any crimes if at all.